I will now begin a brief discussion of how to import and export files in WinServe. WinServe has the ability to export different types of files for different purposes and the most common kind of file that you want to export is the .say file or it's a survey file but it's for a single curve so if you had a reason there's a couple of reasons you might want to do this. One is to transfer it over to another driller so that he has the surveys that you have without giving him the whole file. Or just to uh, pass it over to the WinServe 2 program so that you can uh, calculate your uh, slide points. And uh, WinServe 2 in the slide report will take these surveys and interpolate its points uh, for you. So you come here and you select the curve that you want to export to and you come down and you select export and the very first type is WinServe survey and so you export that and then you say this file and it's saved as uh, this file dot say and you have to know where it's stored and and normally I put things on the desktop or I put them in the WinServe uh, file themselves the other type of file that you want to export if you have a well planning key is this AutoCAD Lisp. What this file does is it allows you to <clears throat> generate a file that you can bring into uh, AutoCAD Lite. And what this does is it sets up facsimile with the approximate page sizes and everything that you have in your, on your output. And then you generate a DXF file. I won't go into detail how to use this right here, right now, because this is related to well planning, which I'm going to have a separate section on. But that's one of the export functions, and that's how you create the DXF file that can be used in the plotting. Then there are numerous other export types, uh, including one that may be used, uh, there's a Maurer survey file for the Maurer torque and drag program that you can import this file directly into their torque and drag program and you don't have to type in all the surveys. And then there's some others that are have legacy values. There's an MMS format here which is actually pretty important in the United States if you need to create a file uh, for the uh, MMS uh, in the format that they demand. And then there's this other file which is used by individuals who use the DIMS reporting program by Landmark. And if you do your surveys here and you want to import your surveys into DIMS, this will give you that functionality. All of these just export directly to a format and then it displays that format for you. As an example, I'll show you how this file here, this MMS format, is set up. It comes up to this screen and there's a certain amount of header information that you can proceed and fill in related to the way the MMS is set up. And then you simply export it and give it a, a name, your name and then you have your MMS format uh, file there. It opens up in Notepad. The, uh, the other functionality we have, we have here, which is uh, important to understand, is how to import data. Well, of course, you can import a WinServe.SY survey file just as easily as you can export it. Before you do that, you would select the curve that you want to import it to. For example, I have selected curve 4 here. And I'm going to go File, Import, Survey File, and I'm going to choose oh, the file that I just exported a couple minutes ago. And now I've brought that in over here to this curve. So while I'm here, I'll take a little diversion here and show you how to completely delete a curve. You go to the curve editor, you select the curve, and you press delete. And it says, that, yes, I want to get rid of it. And so now I've completely gotten rid of that curve that I just imported. Getting back to the uh, import function here, there's uh, another one if you have a more elaborate kind of file that you need to import. You use this other text. And again, you select the curve either before you come in or when you get here to where you want to have the, 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 the data imported. Now, this will only import either 
space delimited or comma delimited files. And you, if you have a spreadsheet, for example, that you have a list of files from which you want to uh, export, and then you would export them in probably a comma delimited file, and the program will recognize whether it's space delimited or comma delimited. And then you choose File, Open, and I don't know that I have any files in here that are uh, necessarily of that nature, so I'm going to import uh, a, a save file, this file right here, just to demonstrate how to go ahead and process this information. Uh, <clears throat> you first go ahead and file, and, and then you bring it in. And what's very, very important in this program is to eliminate any header information because uh, you don't need to have all this header information and you don't need to have spaces or anything else. You want to have it completely blank of any header information. And then you don't want to have any spaces. If you have a file that has every fifth survey is a blank, uh, you don't want that in there either. So you just want columns of numbers and you preferably just need to have the MD inclination and azimuth. And if you have any tie-in information, you need to put that in so the program knows how to process that. And uh, I have these two lines here that I'm, I didn't delete before, and now I have that. So I don't have any header information at all. I have just columns and numbers, and I'm ready to go ahead and do an import. So I press import, and it brings it in. It gives me a default file name, which tells me what the name of the file was that I imported, and it puts some basic tie-in data here that's based upon the first survey. And then I go done, and I can come and I can look at that survey over here. It's the same same survey that I, I brought in before. And then you have uh, other formats here that have been customized for various uh, in sundry customers over the years for different different purposes. Many of them are are probably no longer used. The, these target <coughs> files here, for example, are, are based upon a very old program, as is, are these right here. But when this program was originally uh, invented, this was a crossover that was necessary. Uh, Pathfinder uses this for uh, importing uh, into a format for their logging system. And this uh, coal seam survey is used in the, in the <clears throat> methane uh, drilling out in West Virginia, Pennsylvania. So that pretty much uh, goes ahead and explains everything about importing and exporting that you need to know. And again, all this stuff is in the documentation if you don't have the video available to for you to review it.